Okay, now we have one, two, three unknowns. And to know these three unknowns, we need to have a, a uh, two, two or three, three equations. Okay. So equations actually can come from the fact that there is a discontinuity. Okay? So one could say over here displacement at x equals 0 minus would be the same as displacement x0 plus. In other words, suppose there's a small particle right on the left hand side of function 0 has to move exactly the same amount that of the particle at the just right hand side of x equal 0, x equal 0, that I express as 0 plus. Or one could say the velocity in y direction at x equal 0 minus and x equal 0 plus would be same. Or one could argue that, no, 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 professor, I want to say acceleration at x equal 0 minus has to be same as the acceleration at x equal 0 plus. But basically, those three requirements are same. If the string is initially at rest, in other words, does not move, right? If I integrate this, then I will get a velocity plus the velocity at t equal 0, right? If the velocity at t equal 0, in other words, initial velocity is 0, then the velocity must be the same. If I integrate this, then I can say that displacement at t equal 0 has to be same. It should be same if there's no initial uh, velocity. So essentially, if there is no initial acceleration or initial velocity, then we could say any of these things can be chosen as the boundary condition. And we selected this. Why? In acoustics, in acoustics, we usually concern about the velocity of a particle, not displacement nor acceleration, and that will be very clear afterwards. Okay. Why we did we check velocity as the important kinematic variables rather than taking uh, displacement or acceleration later? Well, we selected that. And another boundary condition is requires the forces acting on this part and on this part has to be same. But if you see that there, if assume that if the string moves like that, then force acting over here has a two component. I mean, it can be seen in two ways. The force acting on negative x zero x direction or positive x x zero direction. That I say in y direction, the force in y direction at x equal 0 minus, and the force in y direction x equal 0 plus must be the same. What about the force in x direction? 
Of course, that has to be same, but we are only considering the motion in y direction, not x direction. But simply, simply, we are assuming that the motion in y direction is is rather significant than the motion in x direction. When those kind of assumption is justifiable. For example, when we pluck the guitar string, it will vibrate like this, not this way. But it does vibrate with large amplitude, then we also have to consider the motion in this direction too. So as long as it is small enough, enough to be assumed that the motion in x direction is, is comparably small. Okay. So that is a physically very uh, justifiable assumption. Okay. Using these two boundary conditions, we come up with a very interesting result that says that the ratio between G1, H1, in other words, how much reflection I will get compared with the incident magnitude of incident y at x equals 0 is equal to the following interesting expression, where Z1 is equal to tension along the string divided by I have to see the lecture notes the two possible expressions I don't know which we use Okay. And the ratio between the transmitted wave in medium 2, that is G2, compared with the instant wave at medium 1, that is G1, is equal to Z1 plus Z2, 2. Z1. Okay. How do we get this? I will repeat again. We have governing equation that governs any wave on these strings. To understand the role of boundary condition, we simply pick up this simple example. And then we assume that there are two waves possible. Instance reflected transmitted wave. And then we want to know how much transmitted wave is reflected compared with the instant wave. And we want to know how much wave is transmitted by this instant wave. If G2 over G1 is 1, every wave is transmitted, right? If H1 over G1 is 0, then there's no reflection. In other words, every wave has to be transmitted. So this is very interesting measure that describes what really happened in this kind of situation. <laughs>